Hello everybody and welcome. Well, um, we're here uh, in this room where I've got uh, set up a one of these um, photographic booths as you can see over there. Uh, I haven't put the lights on as yet. I have in fact got to take some photographs of, of some work which is you know it's a really it's a good thing um, for us potters isn't it occasionally to photograph our work but um, sometimes it's not uh, um, that easy to do a good job of taking photographs of your work um, um, I can remember at lower down in the pottery uh, with my father um, he'd be taking photographs outside with a piece of kind of rush matting that was pinned to the outside of the of the showroom uh, with kind of pins and then it would flop down onto a, a box and um, and then he would um, take, take his photographs and you know at the time I thought oh they look pretty good now when I look if I was to look at some of those photographs they're probably not that good actually um, so how can we improve how can we improve our uh, photography for our own for, of our own work it is it is actually rather important because um, it's a way of marketing our uh, the work that we make and 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 a way that we can um, sell it to the public um, and more and more of these days um, one has to supply good photographic images of your work uh, perhaps if you're having a, an exhibition or you know if you I mean I sometimes have I'm asked to show photographs of my work and uh, when I look back over over time and look back at some of the some of the um, photographs that I've taken in the past, I, I, I realise they're not not that good. My photographs, thankfully, have improved quite a lot. And one of the best things I did was to get one of these um, one of these photographic uh, booths or tents uh, that you, I've got over here. I'm going to show that to you in a moment. Um, I'm just going to briefly just show you my setup here, what, what I've got going on. Um, why don't I put on some of the lights, it'll make it a little bit more visible. So we've got these two lights, you see one on each side, and one on this side, and we've also got, in fact I've got, oops, if I can get up there. We've got a couple, put this one on up here. So, that's going to give you a bit better idea what I'm talking about. Um, I think this is like a 32 by 32 by 32 inch um, photographic booth. Um, as you can see, I've got the the these ordinary clip-on lights here that are just literally uh, hanging off the top edge of the of the booth um, I've got basically three lights one on each side and then I've got these ones uh, up there above it does help to have those uh, bulbs that are like daylight I forget what they call them over here. They've got a name. They're slightly blue, but they're, it's more of a um, less of a tungsten light, but m more of a like a ordinary daylight outside. At least I think that's the way the camera perceives it. Um, in all honesty, how they they really don't look that much different to me. But <laughs> what do I know? Okay, so um, you've got the, the the booth. Inside the booth, you'll see there's some of this graded, um, this graded special. It's not exactly paper. It's more like a, a plasticky, flexible plastic. But it's got this sort of graded colours. You can see black at the top, 
and then fading fading down here to where it's white in the front and that's really good and does um, does give one's photograph uh, a much more professional look and it gives a nice contrast to the pot so uh, apart from uh, the the booth and the lights the the paper by the way or the this graded paper as you can see in the at the back there I hope you can see that is held by three of those orange clamps um, underneath here I've I've had to kind of I've, I've had to and if you can see that but I've had to put something there like a sort of a plinth or a platform you see to get it to the right height here um, it's not actually the best fit in here but I didn't want to cut, cut it at all so at the end I'll give you some sort of basic break well, I could tell you now the breakdown of the cost I think the the booth itself I got it on eBay it didn't cost me very much to be honest it was what did it cost me $25 or something like that um, it's got this um, you see here that this it kind of got velcro on the sides here and you can like pin it up like that and at the top I can't do this very well with one hand I'm afraid but it's slightly you have to stretch it across I'm just showing it to give you just so you got some idea about what it's all about it does actually come down and attach there there you are I haven't done a very good job of it but you can see there and you've got a slot you see the idea the, the idea is that you're going to put your camera kind of there like that through the through 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 the slot you see comme ça okay so I don't want that at the moment I don't want it up actually I want it down so we'll just remove that okay so the, the, the next thing is of course you're going to need a tripod and a and a half decent camera for taking photographs this is a, a fairly old digital uh, SLR camera uh, that does that does the job all right so I'm going to set the camera up just just over here um, like that see is that I'm actually using the tripod that I usually use you see for the um, yeah for uh, the tripod I usually using for doing the video I'm having to use to do the photography so I haven't really got a proper tripod I've got, got one of these crazy little things with like it's about only about this this big anyway um, I've got a few a few pots here so what I'm going to do is uh, we, these are a few pots actually that I made um, just recently um, over at the Anderson Ranch where I was doing a workshop so what I want to do is set the pot up there actually there's one thing I'm supposed to do uh, I'm supposed to set I'm supposed to set the custom white balance and what you need for that is a white sheet you kind of stick the white sheet in there like that if I can get it to stay I probably can't because, because I'm filming I probably won't be able to get it to stay <laughs> it was staying earlier on I don't know how much this really works to be honest but We'll do it anyway. What you're supposed to do is, is take a photograph of, you set it on the custom white balance and then um, focus it on this card, you see. And like so. And take a photograph.
So I've done that. I'm probably doing this wrong. So the last time I did it, I've forgotten what I did. <laughs> so setting the custom white balance. There we are. I hope that that's done it. Um, the next thing is to is to get my pot and put it there inside on the. important you know to <sighs> one consideration is which is important and that is to to frame the photograph well you don't want the pot too small in the image neither do you want it too big you just want a comfortable space around the photograph. Okay, that's one thing. Um, another, another, another thing. Um, another thing is where do you focus? Where do you focus? You know, on the on the pot. Do you focus on the very front edge, or do you focus halfway? Where do you focus? Generally speaking, if you focus approximately one third of the way in from the front edge of the pot, in other words, the, 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 the side of the pot that's nearest to the camera, don't focus there, but focus in a bit, if you get me, all right? That should give you the right focus. That's a little, um, quite a nice little teapot that we, we, we made over there in Colorado. Uh, with a cane, with a cane handle, it's partly oxidised on one side and partly, partly reduced. However, it's quite nice. Um, here we have a, um, a kind of celadon bowl. So let's just bring the camera over here. Okay, so it's going to set this down here this salad and bowl we want to get the best the best angle um, best angle we can you can see it there in the booth so right now what we're going to do is we're going to aim the camera down here like this oh, it seems that it's important as well to make sure you get your tripod um, level, you know, get the legs the same height. And uh, okay, so now let's do. Now I try and uh, I, with this camera, I've got a, um, a manual um, zoom thing. I can just, you know, like this here, I could just. Br br bring it in and out like this you see and that's very nice that's what's one of the great things about it, these these digital uh, SLRs and now I'm going to just do that focusing thing just focusing it in just a touch beyond the front edge of the pot like that I think we should be good to go. Let's have a look. You check the image afterwards in the in the viewfinder. So, all right. So yeah. Well, while we're here, I'll just show you this bowl. Quite a nice quite a nice um, bowl with a scraffito scratched decoration with a, um, a kind of celadon glaze. It looks actually a bit more like a, um, uh, a woody, wood ashy type glaze. 
why don't I show you some more over here that I've got uh, here in the window. I don't think the lighting conditions are probably all that good for for showing you, but this is a, like a, a, a ginger jar, Saladin, quite a nice glaze with a, a turned foot, trimmed foot. All right, that was, um, yeah, the Temaku bowl. Anyway, hang on, let's take another one over there to the booth. And this is a porcelain tea caddy. Porcelain tea caddy. So, let's see now. I'm gonna get this fella. Oh yeah, that looks just about right actually in the image. I tell you, the, the, the graded paper just if you're tempted to to get or not to get graded paper, let me tell you, just get it. It just makes such a difference. So here it goes. There he is. And so on and so forth. So um that back there for now. So that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> Taking photographs. Um, yeah, this is quite a nice, um, quite a nice, quite a nice bowl. Um, trimmed foot, a bit more light on the subject. Nice quality of glaze we had on this, it was, uh, they had a rather nice celadon that they used over there at Anderson Ranch and um, I think they called it D's celadon. But uh, it's got a nice, if you, the secret about getting a good glaze I think very often is getting the thickness right. The thickness is everything, you know? Getting the thickness right. You don't want it so thick that it that it crawls. That's no good. But you need to get the thickness to get the best quality. Certainly with a celadon, and especially over something like this, which is is fluted. You want that quality. That's kind of important. So stick him in there. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. I think we're going to just drop, you know, it's important to get the height right, your angle, the angle that you take the photograph at. You know, there'll be some pots where you need to just drop it down a touch. Um, you can always drop it too far down and then you can wind it up, you see, on the, like I'm doing, on the, as you see, on the handle. All right, so. You want the, now that one I've just taken, for example, the, the 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 top of the pot is not parallel with the top of the with the top of the image. It's slightly slanting, which is which means that yeah, and I can see why. Not quite not quite level. So we'll do it again. Yeah, okay, better. It's one of the, one of the, one of the wonders, isn't it, of, of this digital age that we can take photographs and then um, 
redo them. So, a, a booth and some lights, cheap lights, you know those lights, you've seen them, we can get them in those shops, those hardware shops, they're about, I don't know, seven or eight dollars each. And the bulbs, you need the paper, the paper, this graded paper was something like thirty dollars. Of course a camera and a tripod you've probably already got, so... Um, Let's see and take, take, if we can take a photograph of this, of this guy here, this ginger jar. Mm, I can feel the, the heat coming off these lights quite, quite a lot. So, I'm going to have to pull that one back up. For this one, I'm going to have to go up a bit. You just want to get. bit of height, you don't want to be underneath it. Okay. Do that one again. Okay. Actually, I've just remembered. <laughs> I've just remembered that. You, re you really want to take these on the maximum quality. I didn't have these ones on the highest resolution. This camera will only do six, six megapixels because it's five years old. But um, uh, no worries, I can, I can redo them. It's best to do them on a higher resolution. One of the things I quite like to do with these photographs is send them off and get them made into postcards and then postcards are a wonderful uh, I think way of um, uh, promoting your work because you can you can mail it to somebody and it's a, a picture speaks a thousand words doesn't it it's not uh, like a business card where you've just got a small business card where people stick it in the back of their pocket and they forget about it well, a postcard, they're more likely to pin up, aren't they? They're more likely to stick it on the wall, they're more likely to put it on a mantelpiece. Um, so it's going to get seen a lot more. Also, on the back of a postcard, you can write and put all your details just in the same way as you put on the back of business cards, or on the front of business cards, I should say. And really, the cost these days, getting postcards done, as opposed to business cards, you know, Business uh, postcards are going to be more expensive, of course, but not that much, actually, not that much. Okay, well, I hope that's been of some, some help. I encourage you, if you're a potter, um, don't handicap yourself. Promote yourself with some good photographs. Um, I know there's going to be lots of people out there who are going to probably be writing in and saying, well, Simon, you need to do such and such and such and such, and why haven't you done this? I know, I, you know, well, I'm learning, you see, as well. So... Um, Yes, if anyone's got any advice for me, I'm, I'm welcome to receive it. Of course I am. I'd be stupid if I wasn't. <laughs> anyway, I'm practicing like all of us. But I encourage you, go with this, go with this method and you certainly will get a, 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 a big improvement on your photographs if you're not already using it. Okay, this is Simon Leach saying, keep practicing. See you soon. Bye-bye.